Hey guys, Homeless Addicted here, and today we're going to be building this awesome suburban house. As you can see, I've got them two lined up because you could probably put it in a neighborhood or something like that. But as you can see, it's a pretty awesome house. I've never seen anybody do a house like this, so I thought I would design one. I thought the, um, the brick and the spruce goes together quite well. So we're going to be building this today. Slap a huge like on the video if you like it. I really do appreciate it. And leave a comment what you want to see next. What sort of style houses you want to see if you want to see modern suburban you want to see medieval more but i really like this it's kind of like a cool little townhouse and stuff and um, but i've done a little bit of the interior but not much so kind of like separating it up like this it's got quite tall ceilings and stuff like that so you could probably put about three a floor floor three or four floors on this as you can see you can get some bedrooms in here you could use it for survival or whatever you like so without further ado let's build this house slap a like on the video and uh, yeah i did actually build this i was gonna do a tutorial but i think it's too big i'm not sure i might you never know you never know so uh, let's build this house let's do it man right guys so i was gonna do a fast tutorial on this build but i decided i'm gonna do it block for block but I'm going to have to keep referring back to what I've done originally because I really can't remember. I did this um, about a week ago. So, um, yeah, I really like this house. Perfect suburban house. So we're going to be building that and uh, I've got all the resources. I was going to do a tutorial on that, but there's no way I'm going to remember that. <laughs> but, right, so we're going to be using stone slab, spruce wood uh, slabs um, and the stairs we're going to be using stone brick i really like that combination actually the stone brick and the spruce seems to go and um, white glass and some bushes we're going to use a spruce door some white wool and some stone bricks that's for the chimneys at the top so yeah i'm just going to kind of go with it see if i can do it i'm going to start off with our stone slabs and some of the spruce wood i'd say get a fair couple of stacks of each really Right, so um, area it's going to fit in. Just do a 30 by 30 just to, just to be safe. It's, it'll fit well in, in that, so whatever. Yeah, so I'm going to start here. And we're going to count one, two. Um, depending on what version you're in, maybe you can, um, you've can. you got the full blocks now. So we're going to count one, two. So we'll just class it as one. Two is one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've got seven across there, and then we've got this little out bit here. So we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to go in, and then one, two, three. So we should have a shape like that. It goes like that, curls round, blah, blah, blah. And then we're going to go to the right-hand side. So this is going to be the front. This is going to be the front door and stuff like that. We're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten like that it'll be 11 altogether counting that first one and then we're going to repeat what we've done over there so it's going to be one two three and then one out like this and then that's one two three four five one in like that and yeah exactly the same so one two three four five six and then we can join them all together so it'd be one two three four five six seven eight nine close that all together now I've done this going around the outside because this is actually going to be path as well so I'm just going to count one two on these three one two so you'll have to dig into the ground one two and we're going to do three like that and then uh, I'm just going to go across the ground so it's just going to go all the way around it so four there going all the way around the building until we get into this area and it should just slot in like that now these are going to be the same height but I'm going to do them after um, same for this just bringing it round so you're gonna have to dig all these out and it should lock into place just so you've got a one gap going all the way around and you can walk around it like that and it should just stop like that so this is the front entrance we've got that bit across the front and I'm gonna start off by doing maybe this little bit here I'm just gonna bring this round like this if I can do it um, and then we're going to have that doorway there. It's going to be a two doorway there so we can start here. So we're going to have our two doorway to walk up like this. And we're just going to bring this all the way around. The rest of it is just going to be filled around like this. Perfect. All the way around. Nice and easy. And I'll just get it slotted into there and there. So now we can bring these up. So wherever we've placed them on the ground, we can bring them up like this. 
So this is just going to all be coming up like this and they're going to have bushes on top of them. So you can grab your bush or whichever bush you have chosen. I've done the oak. So I'm going to use a little bit of the oak and um, bring it to there like that. Bring that going round. Same with these. So it's just going to be bringing them all up. Now you don't have to do these little bits, but I just think it makes um, the ground floor look a little bit better because it's quite plain otherwise if you leave it open. Um, and then we'll just put this bush going round like this. And at the front, as you can see, I've dug into the ground. I've got the bushes here, so we're going to count by these stairs. One, one, two, three, four, five. So it's just across this five level here. Same at the back as well. One, two, three, four, five. And then we can work on the meat and gravy of the build. I hate people saying that. I don't know why I'm saying it. So now in the corner, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like that. And uh, we might as well bring this side across and then we can put our little windows in. And so as you can see, that's going to be one into the ground. And then we're going to put one level here. We're going to place one at the side, one at this side. And then we're going to go all the way across like that. And then fill in this bottom area here. Now you can put the windows wherever you like, but I've chosen to go like this kind of thing. So you can have three windows, four windows. I think... Um, what I did is just, you can put the windows wherever you like. I think I put a window there, window there, and then one in the middle. So there's two gaps. And then of course we can put our glass in a little bit later. And um, for this here, as you can see, we've got a window that's four high. So we might as well get that ready. So we'll put two up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Lock that in, put another one down, and then we should have four here. So it should be... Um, one, two, three, four. We're going to put our glass in there later. And then we're going to have a two doorway, of course. So that's going to go across like that, making sure we've got our two doorway so we can walk in and under. And uh, let's have a look. What else did I do? Uh, yeah, that was just all filled in blank. So we can fill this level up, just fill it all in with our spruce. And then we can add the little uh, details to it a little bit later. And then three window height for this one three height three wide so we might as well bring it up at this side bring it up at this side and then we can just at least connect them at the top now we're going to have a three window height so we're going to count one two three on the fourth one we can place our stuff going across and we've got our window ready there we'll work on filling in all the glass and all the outside details later and then the same for this window here as well so it's going to be the same as this side so it's going to be a four window. So from the inside here, as you can see, we might as well bring that one up. And same here, bring this one up and just fold it at the top there. As you can see, it's just on the outside. So we'll fill this inside one, place one more down, and that should be four. So one, two, three, four window like that. Perfect. So we've got that side done. Now, I think at this side, as I said, I'm going to have to keep referring to it. Yeah, we've done exactly the same as the other side so it's just basically copying the same so bring this going all the way across this all the way up like that and then one one level going across leave that level because we're going to put our windows in and then we can fill this but as I, as I say you can have some more bay windows sticking out the back so one either side like that leave our one window one window there and then just fill the two in. We've got our windows all perfectly in line. Um, at the back here, I think it's just exactly the same, apart from it's got two windows here instead. So might as well bring these two sides up because we know that these are going to be up to the same height, so seven height. Bring them all the way up like that. And then we can put that across, we can put that one across, and we can put this one across like that. And then we can fill in these windows. That window is close to there, so we can go across like that. And we're going to have one window there, one window there, and then we can fill the rest in. Or you can have three windows if you'd like. Um, same here. Across like that, and we've got to be in line with that window. So we can bring it across, making sure you've got four there. So one, two, three, four. Um, so yeah, it's looking pretty so far. It's looking pretty awesome pretty awesome suburban house so we've got two bay windows at the front we've got our doorway we've got the glass and the windows at the side and yeah so we're going to bring this down our bay window bring it down 
bring our blocks down so we've got a three by three window. Uh, so we've got that, and then we can work on the next stage, which is, um, as you can see, I've got these bits here that kind of poke out because the top area is kind of poking out from the um, bottom. So now we'll go to the front, because that was the back, and then like that, do exactly the same with our stairs. So it's kind of like, it's got like little kind of grooves coming out of the building, making it look all nice and pretty. Um, let me just count this now. Does that go all the way back four? Right, okay. So, I'm gonna try this. Let's see if we can do it. So at the front here, we're gonna bring this across by five. Obviously, it's gonna be a full block and it's gonna go back by four. So that's two, three, four like this. And we're gonna do exactly the same for this bit here. So count one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five all together. That's a full block. And of course, one more back because we're making it four like that. Now on the inside, I think this is what I did um, because that's two, four. Um, I think underneath here it should be, yes, perfect. Okay, so from here we can just grab our slab and run it round just round what we've already put. So we've got kind of our spruce, which is like the brownie wood. And then we've got our silver uh, stone slabs just running around it. Now you won't be able to see these bits on the outside, but from the inside, because this um, the, the second part of the roof that's on the second floor is gonna be covering half of this anyway. So yeah. Um, once we've done that, that's going to be on the inside. I think that's actually on the inside, but I might have gone wrong, but that's okay. That's fine. We, we can do this. Um, I don't want to, right, let's see, from here. We'll start here, and we're going to bring it round like this, and you can see where I've gone wrong. But that's okay. So we'll bring that round there. Same with this as well. Bring this round. So it slots into here, like that. And as you can see, I've got a double roof. So we need to replace these with this. Now I do apologize. I don't want to just restart the build again. So um, make sure you watch a little bit in advance before you start building, but it's only a few blocks. Now, if you want to hate on me for uh, making a mistake, I apologize. I wasn't even going to do a block for block tutorial on this for this very reason, because I'm going to make mistakes and uh, people, they hate on me because they have to like mine a couple of blocks. I apologize. It's just something you're going to have to deal with. Um, but yeah, so on the inside, as you can see, we're going to bring it round like this. So yeah, right, before you start hitting the dislike button and hating on me, just remember I'm only human, man. And I wasn't gonna do this tutorial anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm getting quite tired of doing these, to be honest. <laughs> I'm like, oh man, do I have to do another tutorial? Oh, it's killing me off. Um, so yeah, we've got that. And then we go our second level, which is one, two, three, four, five, five six okay so six height from here so we'll start on these corners this is a front so that's one two three four five six bring that up to six now this corner is going to be six one two three four five six and this one as well one two three four five six and these as well these are going to be up to six and then this corner here one two three four five six i think that's about right hopefully one two three four five six like that so we've got all those bits I just need to check because that's going up into there yep and okay right um let me just check these corners here right okay so this is the front of the building we can bring these one two three one two three this is for our bay window that's at the front we can do these double sides like this the rest of it is going to be kind of um, filled in with a wool we fill this side in as well like that 
fill this in as well. Yeah, let me know what you think to this sort of style. I thought I'd do a different style. Um, I haven't seen any houses like this with these materials. So yeah, I thought it might be quite good. So yeah. Um, this window is one, two, three height. So we know that we can put it on the fourth. So one, two, three. On the fourth one, we can place that going across. So that's at the front. Same at the back as well. Do the same. So one, two, three. On the fourth one, do that across. And I guess we should do the roof and then we can work down, up, or whatever. What's whatever the, the best way is. I don't know. Uh, so for these side bits, right? We'll do the side bits. We're going to have one going across like this, and this is just going to go up and over like this. So we're just doing like a box. Now we're going to have our windows are going to be two height. So we can fill the rest in at the top and then just fill that in and that in. We should have three windows there. We can do exactly the same on the other side. And for this window here, I guess we can go round. So this is front like this. We're going to have a two high window, two by two window like that. And then we can fill the rest in. So we've got that side bit. We've got that one done. And then this front piece here, as you can see above it, we're going to have a block there and a block there and then count one, one, two with the spruce because we're going to have our windows there as soon as we've done the roof and um, here, let's have a look. We've just got the one and then the one up top. So I think that's a three window. So one there, in fact, two coming down like that because the top piece is going to be covered by the window. Now exactly what we've done at that side. So we know what to do going all the way across. And we're going to have a two window. We can put our windows in like that. So we've got three windows all together. Bring this up to the top like that. And then exactly the same here. So one here, two at the top. So we've got that window sorted. And then here we're going to have one either side and bring the two spruce. So pause the video if it's uh, going too fast. And then one across two by two window for this one, just like we've done on the other side like that and then we can start on the roof now hopefully and um, so the roof let's go to the front of the building so we know what we're doing okay so we're going to count one two three four and go over side of the small one one two three four like that and then across here we're going to count one two three four five so it's overlapping by one and here we just have to count one two so it's overlapping by one so we've done the front piece we'll go to the back now Get that all prepared so same on the little roof one two three four overlapping by one one two three four overlapping by one one two at this side and then for this side one two three four five like that now you can start on whatever roof you like obviously this big roof is going to go up that way this roof is going to go up that way and this one's going to go like that so we're going to put stair under stair under until it reaches the reaches the top so we've got stair under stair under and then we're going to put an upside down stair there. And I think I did um, put a stair facing out like that. So we've done that small roof and then we can go around. We might as well get this small roof done exactly the same. So stair under, stair under until we meet the top. And then we can work on the finer details a bit later on. And then that facing out like that. And same with the big roof as well. So stair under until they meet in the very middle. And then we can start putting the rest of the wool in on this side. Um, so yeah, I'd usually speed this little bit up, but because I've made a mistake, I'm just going to make the video a little bit longer um, just to make up for it. So stair facing out like we've done on the small roof. So we've got that little bit done and then we have just got the right hand side one to do and then we can join them all together. I'll show you how we can join them all together and then we can get all the fine details in making it look nice and beautiful. Uh, by the way, have you seen that new Hightail? I did say in my other video, uh, thinking about um, uh, starting something on that. I think that would be awesome um, to start Hightail or whatever. So we've got that done. Um, now, one thing I didn't mention that we'll need is the slabs of the stone brick. But you only need about 10 altogether. So for this, basically, we're just going to curl it round. All the roofs should fit in like this. So the smaller roofs just fit into the big roof. And we can do it here. It'll only be like two times. So that's one, two times like that for the smaller roofs. And then we can grab our slab. 
one, two, three, four, five, and then the bigger roof would then continue on. And then it'll just kind of go like this, it'll just slot into a slab, and we've got our smaller roof fitting into the bigger roof. And then of course, across the top of the bigger roof, we're gonna have the slab going across there. So we're probably gonna need a little bit more than 10. I didn't think about that, so it'd be like, five there, five at that side, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So yeah. And then we'll do this side now. But um, let me know what sort of houses you want me to do more of. Um, if you want me to do more fast tutorials, um, where I can kind of build off camera, and then I can use the replay mod. A lot of people ask me which um, mod I use. I do actually use the replay mod, um, so. I can just build away, I can put my own music on and stuff like that, and then after, I can edit that footage and um, show you guys how I built it, but just in a bit more of a fast manner, uh, which allows me to be a bit more creative. Um, I know there's quite a lot of people that want the faster ones as well. Um, so, we've got that, so let's finish this off. So we're gonna count one, two, get our wool either side, and then we've got our windows on there. Do exactly the same at this side as well with the smaller windows. So one extra wall and then two up like that. And then for this bigger one, as you can see, we just need to place one, two like that. And then we can just fill around it. And we should be left with a two window there. Like that, just as we have at the other side. So exactly the same here. So if we count one, two down and then just fill around it like that okay perfect now it's so um it's the details the devil's in the details as they say um so we're gonna need the stairs we're gonna need the bush we're gonna need both glass so we're gonna have the glass panes and we're gonna have the thing so i think we should work on the bottom and then work up top first um so yeah we're gonna fill this glass in here Fill this glass in here, and then we're gonna get the block glass either side like this, and then fill in the normal glass in the middle. Just makes it look a little bit different. Now across the top of the um, stairway, we're gonna count three like that. And then on top of it, I got the stairs facing up with the spruce like that, with three bushes on top. I'll just change the time so we can see it a little bit better. And then as you can see, across the bottom here, um, I don't think we're going to need any more white wool. We're going to grab our stone slab across there and then across the top we're going to count one, two, three of this um, stone brick. It's not stone brick. I don't know. Brick stairs. Brick stairs. So we've got our front there. Um, at the side here, of course, we're going to have our windows. So we can fill in these windows either side and then we can work on the back and then we can go up to the top and fill the rest of it in. So we've got these two windows here, fill these two windows in with the glass panes. And then same as what we've done at the other side, so we're gonna have the block first, we're gonna have the glass, fill in this glass, and then of course we can do our little thing going over the top here. And then we've got the stone slab across the bottom, just as a nice little window ledge. And then let's go to the top half now. So the top across here, I'll just put two across this one, so we're at the back of the building. I'm not sure if I put anything, no, I didn't put anything on that one, so that's fine. And then across this bit where we've got the spruce, we're gonna have a little another overhang. And then we're gonna have a block, one, two, three. And then we're gonna have our glass in the middle. Now, what am I missing? We're gonna have the bush. Bush going across here and the glass filled in there, like that. So I think we've got the side. The only other thing to do is fill those two windows there and fill this in here. Okay, side of the building, fill the glass in, fill the glass in at the top. I'm gonna to do it at both sides before I go to the front and finish it off. Get that glass in there. And then at the very front, what I've done for the front, exactly the same. So two across there, we're gonna have our one, two, three, four bushes there. And then we're gonna have our glass, one, two, three, one, two, three our glass panes and then of course I'm going to fill them in at the top there and then we're going to go fill this in like that and I think we are complete all you need to do now is of course put 
your doors on like this I put them in from this side like that and then this bit what we can do is we can fill it in like this on the inside maybe do an extra one and you want like maybe a staircase coming down maybe put three down like that so you come in here and then you've got your staircase and then of course you can put whatever flooring you like down so slash I set five over one I think it's five over one so it's exactly the same there so you could do something like that and of course we need to fill in this little bit there um, for this second floor we're gonna have this here in fact I said we were gonna be able to see it so we might as well do it on this floor so we can see at least see the stuff that we've put on the inside fill all this in and it just kind of gives it a little skirting board for the upstairs now it's entirely up to you how you want to um, get up into your build now of course we're gonna have to have some stairs of some kind of form so I would put this going across here and get like two stairways going down like this and just bring them down until they meet the bottom and um, what you can do is you can kind of get to a certain point and then have the stairs coming down that way if you would like but I'm just gonna just for the sake of the tutorial I'm just gonna bring it all the way down to the bottom it's a lot of stairs but do you know what why not it's quite a big build you can obviously do three uh, different floors to this because it is quite a big build and same with this as well you can do stuff like this going across here and then fill it in with this and just kind of go up like that obviously it'll start to cover the window at some point so you could just stop it at the window there so that comes up like that and then maybe something like this just something to kind of cover up that little area but at the same time we are still keeping the window that we can kind of see there but it's entirely up to you if you want to end it like that and then turn this into another kind of room so you can go like this this is just an example um, you're obviously gonna do it however you guys want put this across of course this is gonna be a floor where you just want it to the point where you can actually get up and you could even just leave that open like that and just have like a little stairway going across so you can kind of get onto this bit look out and you can get down bit of a funny staircase but do you know what as long as you can get downstairs that's okay with me now, I'm not really into doing the interior I just like to give people the exterior and then people ask me for the interior and to be honest I'm not gonna do them um, because I would like to take a long time on my interiors and people are just not gonna watch it um, but you can see how many different floors you can get you can even do another floor at this level do you know what I mean so I'll leave it up to you guys but there you go you've got your floor down at least like this you can even take that out and put it there and then you've got like a little room at the back here as well you can even take these back stairs off so it looks like you've kind of got more roof room on the inside bring this down like this kind of keep him with the decor like that bring this down to there and even if you want to kind of like replicate what you're doing with the normal walls where you kind of go like this so you have this so it kind of looks like the walls are all divided exactly the same but it's just like different ideas for you guys so you can use something like that you know and then you can divide a wall up here as well maybe just as you enter you've got like a two doorway that kind of comes through there and then block this little area off and bring it all the way up to the top you can even use it so it goes into the stairway that, like that like this you could even block that stairway off like that so you've got a room coming in here like that coming up there you could even have those big walls going up or something like that you can have them going up like that because why not so uh, yeah you can get loads out of it you can obviously use it for survival and stuff I just think it's got a bit of character this house even if you want in there the windows you just cover it up there take out I wouldn't take out that bit because that's the actual stairs um, there we go as you can see you can see a little gap there so that's why I kind of did that there like that but yeah you get the idea you can do so much with it but hopefully you got enough inspiration from this build I just thought it was a bit quirky um, 
that you guys could use in maybe a suburban area, suburban town or something like that. One thing I did forget is uh, just putting this going across just to add more detail so it looks less plain at that side. So we've got that there and this going across these three windows like that. And you are complete. So um, I'm almost addicted signing out. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and I shall catch you in the next video. Peace. Comment down below what you want to see next and leave a like. So yeah, catch you later. Bye.